building up on the alkene parallels, let's talk about Diels Alder. Now, Diels Alder occurs, go back to the video, we talked about Diels Alder, we always end up forming a six member ring when we do Diels Alder. And I told you the best way to do this is to go about and number your carbon. So you have your parent chain, and then you have the ones, the basic, you've got the electrophile and what gets attacked. Now, always, always, always when we did deals all with alkene, we always ended up with a double bond between the second and third carbon. And then we use these positions to figure out where everything else was gonna go. So since alpha and beta come from our parent double bond, we end up getting the four methyl groups here on this carbon. We're gonna take a similar approach with alkynes reacting with um, these dienes. So again, you're gonna to want to number your carbons. You're still going to form a cyclohexene ring, and you're still going to form a double bond between your second and third carbons. But we're only going to attack one of the pi bonds on this alkyne. So on the side where we have our alpha beta carbons here, the ones that are from the alkyne, we're also going to have a double bond as well. And we're going to add this so that these two groups will end up cis to each other when this reaction is finished. So, we end up getting this compound. So go back to the videos on Diels alder synthesis. It's gonna follow the same plots. Big thing here is to help you predict the products, number your diene first, number your alkyne, specifically the carbons involved in the triple bond. When you form your ring, the carbons involved in the diene, one, two, three, four, and the two carbons involved in your alkyne, this will give you an idea as to where they are. For alkyne addition by Diels Alder, you're gonna have a double bond between the second and third carbons in the diene, and between the two carbons that made up the triple bond in the original alkyne. Any groups that are associated with this alkyne will end up being cis to each other when this reaction is finished. So this is the way we're going to draw the serial chemistry. And anything associated with the one, two, three carbons on the parent diene, that's why you're numbering it, should help you keep track of where all the groups end up going. And this is how you do deals alder with an alkyne.